Good morning. Welcome to Eva. Ah, oh, I like Eva. <laughs> She's lovely. Okay, so uh, uh, GPS still moving. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Should okay. I yeah, yeah, shut? Yeah. Okay. Reparto. Okay. So now uh, it's autonomous. So Gabriel is not touching anything. Mm -hmm. So no steering wheel, no gas, no any pedal, no turn indicator, nothing. So what you will see here is that we have traffic coming and we're stopping for oncoming traffic. So once uh, the road is clear, we can go into the road. Yep. Okay. Um, so again, what you will see here in the monitor yeah. is uh, the 3D um, right. synthetic Objects. world uh, yeah, that the vehicle sees. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so for example, can you see the car in front of us was detected? Was yep. It? yep. Uh, and again, we can see everything around us. Yeah. Look at this. This is a, a narrow lane yeah. with the vehicles parked on the right-hand side. Right. Uh, we're staying away from them, yep. but still staying in the middle of the lane. Right. With the, usually we have incoming traffic on the other side, and we need to stay away from incoming traffic and from the vehicles parked uh, on the right-hand right. side. On the side of the road. Um, the white that I'm seeing in the graphic is that the um, curb the, the white is the, just a map it's we have just a map, map. Just that for is a the reference that for is us. the map okay yeah, just to understand where we are okay um, and then actually everything that you can see here is dynamic so it's perceived yeah, it apart from the from the white which is the map yep. and the red lines which shows our route so because okay. we, we we told the vehicle that we need to go to this intersection that intersection that way so we had to program the route you did program the route okay uh, so in this case uh, th that's the only static information that we have so the right the red uh, markings there okay. the nice thing is that i mean can you see that the car is actually two cars so there's one car which is leaving the green train right and there's another ghost car on the left hand side that's a gps so we have a very highly highly high precision gps very expensive actually uh, but it's not working as reliably as our vision-based localization because we can localize ourselves ourselves with a good precision because we have we're using cues so like uh, lane markings curbs uh, traffic lights, uh, traffic signs, so we can understand where we are thanks to that. Now we have seen we have uh, two 90 degree curves and mm -hmm. we're staying in the lane and now we're approaching one of the most difficult things because we're merging into a high speed road mm -hmm. with a very poor visibility on the left hand side. Right. So if you see these pe people are speeding uh, mm -hmm. and we have bad visibility because we have just you know trees and, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. in this case, the car is would be moving a little bit farther to see a little more, and then if there's nobody coming, like in this case, the car will take off. Interesting. And okay. you see, the car is taking off. We're staying in yeah. the, the. And what were the um, the uh, markers on the left there? When we were looking left, it looked like was that the cars with the viewpoint what they could see? Exactly. That was exactly. the uh, for the intersection. The car detects where. Uh, the traffic should be coming from. Right. And then looks there. And then looks there. You will see that again. I'll see it here again. Yeah, then. exactly. Okay. Because now we're facing an intersection. Yep. Uh, so we're turning right here. So you'll see that we have a green light. Right. The green light was detected as green. Yep. Now we're turning right. You see that uh, we have a I green can see. spot it's there. Looking so at the, yep, you it's can looking, go. That's the view that it's Now seeing. we're going fast because yeah. we have a high speed limit. So 80 kilometers per hour is a, is a freeway. But can you see that there's a traffic light? So we're, we'll be slowing down for the traffic light to pass the traffic light safely. Okay. So we're now slowing down a little bit. Once we detect that it's safe, you can see that's green here. Right, and that's what we can go. Yep. And look at look at the GPS position. That's absolutely wrong. Yeah, way wrong. off. Absolutely yeah. wrong. So this it's is because really you're going so problem. fast. That's <laughs> a huge problem. But actually, yeah. we are localizing ourselves with nice precision here. We ask with your future yeah. roadmap, I mean, what will the capability might, might be, like if we took this drive two years from now with it, maybe around CV2, what what does this capability look like at that point? Yeah, I, I think I prefer to comment on what we have now. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you see? We have the... Yeah, now uh, the GPS uh, polarizes. Uh, the polarizes. Uh, because yeah. we okay. get to... GPS was too wrong. 
Yeah, it's Should I switch right. on? Yeah, I guess it's good. Okay, I'm switch to again. Uh, I just, oh, no, no, it's... I uh, do that. Yeah. I get to... The GPS is too wrong here. Yeah, I get can to shut down that? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, too bad. Too bad you, can, you cannot see what the other guys uh, has been shown before. Uh, can you see the GPS is totally out now? Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. So what the colors of the um, the viewing spots? What with them? And they're red, and they're yellow, and they're green. What does that mean? Uh, the viewing spot means that uh, green means that there's nobody there, right. so you can go. Yellow means that there might be somebody just check. Okay. And red means so there caution, is basically, yeah, and there red is, is there's definitely something, yeah, exactly. or a car, or a person, or okay. exactly. Usually it's cars, uh, yeah. But you, we can also detect pedestrians, bicycles, and right, and right. And is there yeah. any relevancy to the colors of the object? Uh, Other than the fact they dropped the phone, it's perfect. Umbrellas, self-driving vehicle.